Hello Aries! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison and I'm doing your reading for the week of July 2nd to July 9th. Um, please subscribe. I'm just starting out and that would really help. Also, like, comment, maybe share. All of that would be really great. Alright, so what I do is the Celtic cross spread. Here's the cross and here's the staff. I do it a little differently than others, so I'll explain as I go. Well, um, Alright, so we start right in the middle. Alright, so what we have here is the Two of Cups. Um, it is upside down, which means this energy is manifesting, but not quite. Uh, it is love, lovers, friends, um, a, a relationship so strong that it could move mountains. Okay, so this is at the center of what's going on for you this week, Aries. This is what you're thinking about. This is love, cups are love, emotion. Um, this could be a very healing partnership, okay? The energies that are directly affecting that this week is air energy. The Knight of Swords. Um, he is a fast mover. Look at him. I mean, he is like, woo, <laughs> very powerful. Um, he, this is um, the energy of maybe moving a little too fast. Okay. It's when, um, it's the inability to focus and bring ideas to life. So it could be that your mind um, is a little unfocused this week. Maybe you're trying to do something a little too quickly. Um, and so what this is telling me to tell you is to just keep, keep your ideas fresh, new and exciting, but um, maybe try to slow down a little bit with them. Uh, the universe needs to catch up with you. <laughs> And um, sometimes if you go, if you try to do something too fast, it's stressful. So um, I, I know Aries, you are fire, okay? Uh, fire energy wants to go, 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 get it done. Um, but this is telling you, you may be moving a little too quickly. So don't stress yourself out. Oh yes, because the next card we have is at the root of everything for this week. And what this is, is um, more air energy. Air energy is mental, okay? And you'll see that this has not manifested yet. This is the Three of Swords, and this is sorrow. It's like, um, you see something in the future, perhaps, that you know is going to hurt. And maybe that's why you're moving a little too quickly. Maybe, um, oh no, that is, that's it. Uh, this could be things like love triangles, uh, separation, and delay. And like I was saying with this, um, you're trying not to put something off or something isn't coming yet and you're not looking forward to it because it you feel it's going to break your heart. This could even be someone, um, someone's hurtful words that you might be afraid of someone saying. Okay, that's all they're telling me. Thank you very much, Spirit, Angels. Okay. The next card that we read is the energy that is moving out. Okay, for this week, this energy is on its way out. It's, it was there, and now it's leaving. And this is the, the reversal of the Ace of Discs, 
Um, this is the seed of all material things. Some, uh, a seed was not planted. Okay? This represents um, a fruitful, abundant time ahead. Or, uh, you know, it's all about material comforts and money, good fortune, all kinds of things uh, that are physical. Earth energy. Earth life. Okay? So, this is the seed that was not planted. Okay? Also, I just want to say that this energy can always be brought back in, if you like. Okay? Now, the next cards that we read are future cards. These are both future cards. This is a more immediate future. This is a future that can happen in a few days to a few weeks to maybe next month, but is not that far out. I learned that when I would do a reading and then another reading, this card would be here. Okay, so that's why I have these cards like this as two future cards. Now, you have the two of discs. And you'll see that this is also, this is upside down, which means that the energy is there. It's a possibility. It just hasn't manifested yet. Okay? This is change. This is balance. You see the yin and yang in both of these. This is the eternal lemmasket. This is, um, this is juggling. You could be juggling two things. You could be striving or struggling to keep balance in your life. Okay? Because like I said, coins are earthly uh, energy. Okay? Uh, this also could be a pleasant change, though. This could be alternating energies when they, you know, sometimes things have to go back and forth, you know? And uh, you're, but what I'm feeling is that you want some balance in your life, okay? Um, you'll, I'm being shown the crown on the snake's head. Uh, once you do balance, if you can get this card to flip upright, you'll be crowned. Huh, interesting. Oh, yeah, okay, so the next card that we have woo, is the Priestess, okay? Oh, I, I just love this card. The Priestess is um, seeing through the veil. You're using your intuition. She's fully upright. You are using your divine intuition this week, Aries. You're feeling it. You know what's going on under the surface. You know, um, yeah, your intuition is working very well. I'm being shown all of these. This looks almost like a web, but very straight, very neat. Um, it's like your energy, you're putting it out into the universe, and you are very connected. Okay, you are really connected. And your mind is picking up what it's what it needs to pick up. Okay, um, I'm being shown uh, this earthly, these earthly things at the bottom of her of the card. You are well grounded. Okay, you are listening with your divine in, uh, intuition, yet still being firmly grounded in physical life. Wow! You'll notice that this is another two. Okay? So, um, now I'm being told to you, keep listening to your intuition and you will you will balance. Okay? You, you have Three twos. Two, two, and two. So now I would like you to uh, Google angel number two, two, two. Okay, and that's going to be an additional uh, message for you. And I'm, I'm hearing it's the reason for the crown.
Okay, Aries, the next card that we read is at the bottom of the staff. All right, so this is a, a Capricorn energy. This is your hopes. It could be that you're hoping for a Capricorn uh, in your life to be fully manifested, something uh, possibly with the balance with this Capricorn. Um, it could be, uh, you'll notice that, yeah, they're fully upright. This card is fully upright. And I'm not sensing... Um, you know, a lot of people panic when they see the devil, but I don't feel like, th I don't feel that. What I am feeling is that it, you are hoping maybe to have a little more control over a situation than you can have, which is why we have this message here, okay? Um, sometimes we cannot control everything in life, and it looks like you're trying to get a handle, trying to balance maybe a little faster than you're supposed to. And when we do that, it ends up being um, an energy that isn't exactly going to work for you very well because we can't fight against the universe and how things, uh, need, things need to work the way they need to work in the universe. Yeah, I'm, I'm being told, slow down and just breathe. Listen to your intuition and trust in the universe so that you don't drive yourself crazy trying to get control or balance, okay? This would be a time I would recommend for you to pray and then to have faith. Okay, so this is your environment card. And it's the Ten of Cups. Now, cups are emotion. And you'll see that this card is upside down, which means this is not fully manifested. So what you have is, you know, a happy, you know, you've got a happy ending that is coming. Okay? But it hasn't fully manifested just yet. All right? So, yeah, that's, that's exactly why... Uh, I was being told for you to go ahead and pray and then have faith because the energy of the happy ending is there. You, you are listening to your intuition. You will have balance. Okay, so um, this energy right here, um, don't worry too much. Okay, don't worry. Worry, worry is what bothers us. Worry is what brings us into this energy. So the universe is telling you that this is in your environment right now. It is trying to manifest and you will have your happy ending. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so the next card we read is your fear. Now, this, this is the queen, the queen, I'm sorry, the princess of discs. She is conception, pregnancy, or the beginning of a new project or physical creation. Um, hmm. Not sure why this would be a fear. Uh, the shadow side of this card is um, waste, uh, illogical, stubborn, uh, wishy-washy, but she's right side up, so she's carrying, see that? That is the yin and yang sign again, okay? Um... Yeah, this is more Capricorn as well. There's something about... Maybe um, you're afraid to try to balance. I see the connection between... Now I'm being shown the crown. The yin and yang, the crown. 
She's a princess. She's, she's Capricorn energy. Um, hmm. It could be that some of you don't want someone to be, to get pregnant, or you don't want to get pregnant, or maybe you don't want a new beginning because perhaps that's going to hurt or something. Hmm. Okay. Well, you'll know what that means, Aries. Uh, I'm told to continue on. I'm getting a little, running a little long here. I do this from my phone. I'm just beginning, just starting out my channel, so I can't have too long of videos. Your um, outcome for this week focus there we go is an energy that hasn't uh, quite manifested okay now this this is the four of cups this is when um, your emotions are not quite flowing okay or maybe you're feeling uh, a little stagnant or or you're on the verge because this is um, kind of stagnation or boredom this is when uh, you, you are disappointed or disillusioned or you could possibly be despondent, okay? Um, but four is the number of solidarity. This is the number of stability. Um, but this hasn't manifested yet. So, you know, um, yeah, stagnation is an energy that an Aries are not fond of okay so um this is an energy that may be manifesting for you oh i see what it is because you want something to go quicker than it should and so you're you're manifesting boredom and stagnation but you have only two major arcana cards in this reading, two out of ten, which means that you have most of the control, okay? And the divine is speaking to you, to your intuition, and, um, and also speaking to you through this card as well. But everything is in your control, and you will eventually, at the root of all this for this week, you will eventually have the universe, okay? That is um, completion, okay? Possibly a little more delay. So take a breath, Aries, and um, let the universe flow as it needs to, and everything will work out. That's what I have for you this week, Aries. See you next week.